Uh, all right, guys, I'm going to make this quick video about credit reporting and trade lines and making uh, uh, consumer complaints. So let me share my screen over here. I'm just, I've been doing the research now just because it's been, um, it's been what I've been dealing with. Like, uh, this is what I just woke up and I was inspired to do. I've been researching and studying this for a while, but I want to go over something called trade lines. If, th if this is not into your awareness, you're going to have to know about this. Basically, in a nutshell, trade lines um, is, let me show you, you buy, uh, you buy a trade line. Where is that list? Okay. It's in the next window. Come on. It'll be easier if you just see this. Right here. So uh, I wouldn't buy from this site right here, but just to show you, list 100 items. Okay, they don't even have anything. Uh, this company doesn't have much, but you basically buy credit history. See, for two years, they're asking for $930 for a $52,000 credit card. That's only been uh, that's been for two years here. They have these for business. They're, they're but these is personal trade lines. I went through. I just didn't feel right with this company, uh, so I, so you know, then I start. I continued researching, continued researching, looked at a lot of the reviews. Uh, where I'm, I'm on this one right here, and then, so in a nutshell, basically what you do is. Because right now, me, I don't have any credit. I went off the grid for almost 10 years. I, you know, I did defaulted, I charged off a couple of cards in like two, 2013. And all I dealt with was prepaid cards. I mean, I really went off the grid. All I was doing was working, paying my bills, you know, having this, you know, cell phone, very, very minimal, still working, making money. But um, because it takes a long time for that to to disappear from your credit, it takes about seven years. But not if you, not if you figure out the secrets that all these credit repair companies are doing. I, I, I just didn't really care, but this is freaking important because you could control what they report. I'm gonna explain. So right now I have no credit. So I would have to do I would have to do what this guy did. Let me see here. Uh, let's see if I could find this guy. Oh, all right. Well, anyway, I have him right here because I bookmarked all of this stuff. Right here. So, Fortress University, I'm not sure why this is slow. Maybe because of the Zoom? All right. So this is like the proper way to build up credit. I mean, if you have credit, it's easy. You skip all these. If you have credit and you're just like default, you could erase all. You don't have to pay back your car loans. You don't have to pay. Uh, the mortgage might be a little more difficult, but as far as car loans and stuff, I'm going to show you how. You make a complaint. Let me just get through this right here quick. So the typical way you, if you have zero credit, what you would have to do is you could do a couple of things. So one is you start getting secured credit cards. Do you see here? Uh, secured credit cards. So if you want to just, you know, if, if that's what you want to do, you because uh, uh, they don't have many of these secured credit cards anymore. They had them everywhere before. Now there's not very many of them, or I couldn't find them. Maybe I didn't use the right word. Uh, maybe I was using prepaid, and then all the prepaid come out. But uh, when I looked, I couldn't find any. So... So basically, uh, you you build these credits up, you, you pay them already. If you want a $2,000 credit line, you pay $2,000, and then you'll have that, that credit line. You use it, you pay it, and then, you know, in, in six months, three months, and this company does report to all credit bureaus. So it might take you like six months or so. Second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Or you can skip all that, and then you could buy a trade line. You know, I don't trust this company, but uh, but I did. There are a lot of people on YouTube and Telegram talking about this. I, I don't understand what the hell is going on here. I think it's my internet connection or something. Anyway, so now, um, 
sort of by trade lines. Now, let's see what else I got here. You buy the trade line, two years. This guy, look at how much money they're asking. You, I, I looked at some reviews. Some, some guy spent $1,300 and he got gypped. Uh, so I'm not going this company route, but I definitely want trade lines to show up. So then you want to basically feel like you could trust them. Uh, and so since I have no credit, if I had four or five trade lines, then if I apply for a, a, a loan or, or a real card of, of, of my own, then they would show all of this history. And it even tells you, look for how long. So five years. Imagine having a credit line of $50,000 from Barclay Bank that they, that they, uh, they, you know, they report the statement is on the fifth of the month. For five years, fifty thousand dollars. They're asking thirteen hundred dollars for that. So let's just see if I add this add to cart. Keep shopping reserve. Reserve. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna pay for thirteen hundred dollars. These people are probably out of the country somewhere. Look, eight hundred number over here. No reviews. You know, no reviews here. So to speed up and fast forward, uh, let me see if I can move this to another. Uh, this. Let me let me see if I can move this to another screen because the, uh, there's this uh, zoom function that's bothering me up at the top. All right. Now let me share again. All right. Now, uh, nope, it's still popped up over here. Let me see if I can move this. I can't even move this thing. Here it is. I moved it. Uh, it's like the bar, the zoom bar, it, it comes up on the top of my screen. It was bothering me. Okay. Now, so now let me see what else I got here. Trade. Look, look, I even went to the reviews, top trade lines and Fortress University. This is that site that I trusted. I got this off of, uh, it seemed like a reputable site. So this guy, I went through the process of making a consultation, but they have a consultation on the 26th. I might go this route, but then I fast forwarded to this. Let's see what I was doing here. Then I started, you know, I started searching numerous different uh, keywords because a lot of guys, they market these, you know, uh, keywords. Then I went to Nerd Wallet, you know, and then I was studying how to build credit. Um, you could even apply your rent and utilities. There's there's ways that you could get right here. Rent reporting, uh, such as rental karma and level credit. So all these things, you know, uh, can increase your 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 credit because they're going to be reporting your rent that you paid for twenty years. You know, fifteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, Nerd wallet. Then I search Nerd wallet trade lines. Then I got what is trade line, the risk of buying trade lines. So anyway, then I got to um, that's that. Then I got to coach trade lines. I was I was looking at a bunch of these companies. Oh, coach trade lines. Okay. Now where I got coach trade lines for now. You know, I mean, I'm going to share my telegram. Um, I mean, I follow this guy on YouTube here. Let me see. To, you know, I'm just, I enjoy his content because he tells all. He's got a lot of good information. Um, let me go back here. Deposit options. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do, let me see something. All right, didn't come up. Yeah, this guy's channel here. Uh, I mean, this guy's grown really quickly. He's got a lot of good information. You can get a, if it wasn't so far away from me, if you get a, a Navy Federal Credit Union bank account, um, They've, they're given a lot, a lot of credit. I don't know if because they're a credit union, I don't know. But um, 
and he talks about EINs and credit, and he's got a, and this is his telegram here. Uh, I hope no one wouldn't mind me sharing this, but so I was reading through these um, uh, posts. I basically did a search up here that says trade. I didn't even put trade lines because somebody, some people spell it one word, some people spell it two words. So trade lines. And then I went through all of these. See, I went through this. This, this guy's selling trade lines. Watch. Uh, right here. Where was his trade lines? Oh, they were up above. Uh, I missed that one. Oh, here it is. Right here. I mean, this guy is $20,000 with the closing December 22nd. And this is, look, if you look at the top, September 9th. So this is very recent. It's like yesterday. I don't know if this guy is legit. I, I, I uh, direct messaged him. And then he's asking for this whole package right here for seven fifty. That's a good deal. I mean, that, if if it's true. So what I would do is I'm gonna find out with these, you know, with the people here because there's a lot of people here. I I can you know I could tell or I could see if I could trust them. See, there's a lot of photos, videos, and stuff here. Uh, it's public, so it's not like it's a private channel. Um, but anyway, now let me go back to where I got that at Ryan, right here. Uh, peace family gonna rise and don't forget about the people of rent reporters both great credit lines uh, trade lines and receive a gem a diamond whenever you're adding trade lines trade lines and make sure your oldest account this this makes sense make sure your oldest account to reflect the smallest amounts and your most recent account is at least two years old with the highest amount progressive progressional file is what it's called so I don't know if this is his site or whatever, but that led me to Coastal Trade Lines. So now, I mean, this is after going through, I was spent about, you know, at least 20 minutes just on this site, uh, maybe on Telegram, just about, just on this channel. Now, uh, going back to Coastal Trade Lines. So I went here, then I went to AU means authorized user. So if, if let's say if you had credit, and you put me down as an authorized user, it automatically comes up, even if you don't give me the card. If you have a $5,000 credit card and you put me down as an authorized user, you can have numerous authorized users. And if anybody does, well, right now, I could use that. So I could, we could do a barter. If you have, I don't even want the card. Like you could just take a picture of it and send it to me. So if you have, um, you know, like $5,000 credit card or something, add me as an authorized user. I'll give you my details. And then you um, just take a picture of it. And then I'm going to check my reporting agencies. And then they they report, you know, they report that stuff in a, in a couple of weeks or a month. Or you could even, uh, I think there's a way that you could speed up the process. So that's what an AU is, authorized user. So what's this guy offering here? All right, a la carte trade lines, because I did this. I went a la carte trade lines, open the tab, a la carte trade lines. So there's two different kinds. If you look at the, uh, the subscription, I should say the, uh, the link down below, it says renew. And over here it says easy trade lines. Before you begin, I read through this, uh, remove all fraud alerts. Okay, when you're using AU trade lines, authorized user, AU trade lines will not post when fraud alerts are present. So, you know, you have to, he, where is right here? It says sign up for credit monitor. I did this. I spent like $200 and I, I wanted to see if I could build my credit. There was no hole. If you're not really, these companies without you really doing credit um, actions, you're not, you're not going to build your, build your credit. So you have to uh, basically get credit cards. You're either going to do them from that other website that I said with the secured cards. You add like $200, $2,000. Use that card. Make sure you pay that minimum. That's how I built my credit the first time when I was like 20, like when I was like 21, 23 years old. And I, and I screwed up, you know, I overextended myself, defaulted on, had to wait seven years, sometimes even 10 years with, uh, with the, um, Statute of limitations sometimes uh, extends past seven years. So anyway, sign up for credit monitoring. So I did this. I still have my account with Experian 
uh, freecreditreport.com with TransUnion and Equifax and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm investigating to see if it's worth my time or not. But I think it is. I think it is. Now, uh, so easy trade lines. All right. Now let me press. I did. I got up to this part. Easy trade lines. You tell us what you need. We pick the trade line. So this is coast. Remember that I got from here. This guy, he he did. He, he mentioned something here that you know to kind of help you. So he has pretty much no reason to you know steer you wrong. But you never know. So you have to always use your own judgment, and then you also have to kind of take it, take a risk, and take a chance. So. Over here, does he have any frequently asked blog, trade line assessment, Y Coast, cardholder program, program details, check your earning potential. So this is where I got up to. And then I say, wow, look, I have all these windows open and I have like a little story to tell. So I said, let me just let me just record this. So, you know, maybe we could work together. Um, and, um, you know, I could definitely help you know, anybody, if, when, once I get these cards. Oh, by the way, I I, I got great news. I, sh I shared it with a couple of people. I opened up, a, 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 I was able to open up a foreign grantor trust. I got a foreign grantor trust EIN on Tuesday. Oh, no, foreign grantor estate EIN on Tuesday. Monday was Labor Day, right? Tuesday, I got a foreign grantor estate EIN. Wednesday, I got a foreign grantor estate, I got a foreign grantor trust EIN. And on Thursday, I got a, a foreign grantor trust EIN in the name, in, uh, in the name of my roofing company. My roofing company is ProLine Roofing and Chimney. That was the last company that I, that I ran. So now I got a trust called ProLine Trust. Um, and, and I was able to open up a trust bank account at TD Bank. I went to five different banks. Uh, three of them, uh, you know, refused me. One of them, uh, they're going to let me know that, you know, the upcoming week because it was too late on Friday. Today's Saturday. And then, uh, well, today's Saturday. And I did that yesterday. Oh, you know, I got the EIN on Thursday. And then yesterday was the ninth, which was Friday. That's when I went and I, that's the only thing that was on my mind. So I opened up, I was able to open up a foreign trust EIN. I'm um, being trained by, by my mentors to do a few things. Remember over here when I said on Tuesday, I got my foreign grantor estate EIN. There's a way that you can get your foreign estate EIN and your, uh, foreign grantor trust EIN to be completely, they're not completely tax-free that you don't even have to file taxes because if anybody notices when you get that form back, they mail it back to you. It says, okay, you must file forms 1041. I got them on all of them. I'm sure anybody, if they've gotten them, look at your form that you got in the mail. If you if you've mailed it to Mexico, if you mailed it to another country, if you have that, read through it and it says, okay, you know, you're obligated in like the second paragraph. It says you're obligated to file forms 1041 or you know 1041 or something like that. You are not tax exempt, so you have to do a follow up with an 8832, and you have to write them a letter stating the codes. This is key. Once you do that, you're scot free. Any company you open up in 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 like America to do business because you can't technically, but you can, you know. I mean, who's gonna touch you when you have all these security agreement documents and stuff, you know, in place? And then you could just do an administrative process on it. But who wants to do that? And who wants to, you know, fight? You want to wake up, enjoy your, you know, enjoy your life. You don't want to be like, you know, living in negativity. So. Uh, before I lose my train of thought, um, I completely forgot my train. Right, so Monday, all oh, right. So you'd be tax free on. Remember, I told you about the foreign estate EIN and the foreign granted trust. You'd be tax free on the on the trust, 
And then I'm going to do it for my company as well. I'm going to follow through with an 8832 when I get the letter in the mail. It takes, they said two weeks, but last time I took, it took a month to get. And then um, and now to do business, sometimes you have to get state, you know, corporation entity information, like an LLC or something, if you kind of like really want to do business in the public. But those three that I opened up there on the 6th, 7th, and 8th, those are foreign. So now I can now I can open, I can use, like, say if you have ABC uh, anything, painting. If you have ABC painting and power washing, right? And you open up a trust just with ABC. You don't have to have anything else. And then, and then uh, you do underneath there. Is this what I did? I'm not sure if I'm right, but I think I am. Underneath there, it says, uh, you know, like uh, it says doing business as or. Hey, I have it right here. No, I actually don't have it. I do have it right here. Hold on. And I need some light. It says. trade name of business. So if you have a trade name, I just put down trade name and I switched it to ProLine General Contracting. So I went to five banks. Everybody refused me because I basically got, I got a trust uh, declaration of trust right off the internet. I edited it and then I just filled it out and I went, got it notarized, went to the bank, made the appointment first, went to UPS right in the same shopping center, got it notarized. Then the guy wouldn't accept the notarized because everything, every place in it said will and uh, and another word. Hold on. Will and estate. He's like, oh, no, no, you need a lawyer for that. And then I went on his computer. I, I did the control find and I, I deleted everywhere where it said estate and will. So and then I didn't have time because my appointment at the bank. So. If you if you read through every paragraph, it, it kind of doesn't make sense because I just took I just extracted the words estate and will right out of the document without even looking at the context. So it was pretty crazy. Everybody was looking, nobody noticed it. And, oh, actually, I I uh, I wind up swapping out like twelve of the pages. I only took the notarization and the first page and the notarization page and I swapped it with 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 the original so it had all the beneficiaries and all the well, collateral I, all I did was when I, I put one sentence all property belonging to this is now uh, upon my death is this so I pretty much used the will kind of but it did say uh, revocable trust anyway so TD Bank accepted it and I was able to do the signature card with the special verbiage it's like a paragraph long. It's I would honestly say it's about um, if it's about twenty words. Let's say average words about five twenty times. Uh, it I would say it was one hundred and fifty characters. I fit right into the signature box. Um, so right into the signature box of a checking account um, that I opened up at TD Bank. So basically, it says something like redeeming lawful money. Um, all special deposit, all deposits will, should be considered special deposits. Uh, re, um, redeemable, re, redeemable in lawful money. So my mentors are training me. I can't share too much, but I'm not sharing any screen. I'm just sharing words. You know, uh, he's, he's guiding me on how to basically get a hundred times your deposit. So if you deposit a hundred bucks, it turns into, or maybe 20, you know, I heard 17 times. So if you deposit a thousand dollars, it now turns to $17,000. Uh, so I don't know if that's true. I believe it, you know, Hey, you got to dream high sometimes, you know, you got to dream big and, uh, you know, aim high. All right, let me see anything else. Cause I got to figure out what I'm going to do today. And then, uh, so then they have a YouTube channel, Coast Trade Lines. I, I pretty much got to here where it says there was a video, right? Where was that video? Um, right here. So I did this and then I went YouTube.
I just put now over here, and I'm I got a new computer. I got I finally got a gaming computer, so all of this should come out um, very very clearly. Let me make sure. Let me stop share one second because I want to see what the settings are. Video settings, recording. Oh, I want to make sure that it's because. It, okay, I am recording in HD. All right, that's great because for, for, I'm not sharing my video, but I'm sharing my screen. So that's good. Share screen. So now I'm golden. Now you can see everything. Like everything, like if I touch this, if I touch this, uh, it's, uh, it should be a high quality video because I have, here, let's do this. If you ever did this or not, this is another, instead of going to speedtest.net, you go to fast.com. Let's see what I'm pumping today. Yesterday I had like 600. Yeah, baby. And I have a gaming PC with an Ethernet port because they, they make these laptops with no Ethernet port anymore. So you you uh you everything is funneled through a USB C. That's not fast. You can't you can't do any gaming. I, not, I don't do gaming, but I need it for videos. So let's see. The, the upload is three ten, and then this megabytes is three three thirty. Oh, I'm I'm golden. That's all I need. So now. How do trade lines work? And then I went, you know, right here. So this is the channel. You know, you sort by most popular. What are trade lines? How how to how do you use trade lines to boost credit score? Short videos here, testimonials. I mean. I trust this better than some of these other ones down here because they didn't even have any 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 videos or anything. One of the one had one video. These people are people make uh, looking to make money and and get rich. And basically, you a sucker's born every day. But I trust this. I'm gonna continue. I don't mind spending you know two three hundred dollars and throwing it away, take a chance. But I need to know where because I only have a couple bucks to my name. You know, I have a lot of things there. I need this. I need that. Um, all right. So then that's that. Let me see if there's anything. I'm not going to play any of these videos. But yeah, we're, we're talking about trade lines. I hope it's sharing volume. Of course, yeah, it should. It, it, it would be funny if it wasn't. Oh, they're not even going to talk. All they're going to do is, I'm not going to listen to that. Let me just check something. Let me stop here. Oh. Uh-uh. I didn't press the share. Come on, man. I got to press the share sound uh, button every time. Optimize for a video clip. Let me see. If I share and then I stop share and I start share again, Okay, this time it's, I forgot to press share sound and optimize for video clip, but I'm sure you can hear my voice. All right, so that's it. Let me see, let me share screen two. So let me see what else I, what else I had open. All right, so post trade lines. Let's see what this guy got. A la carte trade lines, that's where I was. Then I got to this. Okay, so this is what they're offering. Easy trade lines. You tell us what you need. We pick them. We pick the trade lines. Starter. Credit limit of each trade line. Five to 20,000. One average age of each trade line. Right here, if you have decent credit and you're not like really, you know, what you do is even if you have late, you know, late payments and stuff, I know how. Here. I got to it. Look, you're gonna you're gonna do a consumer complaint with the Credit Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. There's videos. I have some private videos. 
I can't share them because I'm under a non-disclosure agreement, but I'm sure you can find them. Um, you basically, this is it. This is what you do. You submit a complaint. This is a powerful agency. I haven't done it yet, but here, let me submit a complaint. Most, most companies respond within 15 days. You basically tell them, you send them a letter and say, you know, we're aware of your fraud based upon this law and this law and this law. And, you know, I, uh, as soon as I opened up an account, you know, I'm the, I'm the beneficiary, whatever you need to say, you could search for forms online or whatever. And then you tell them what you want, what your resolution is. I want you to, you know, uh, you know, um, accurately report that the, that the account is, is actually is paid in full and continue r reporting positively on all my credit reporting agencies, right? And then they do it. There's people that have like a hundred complaints out. Would they, once these people mastered this on how to make these complaints and them complying to your complaints, what they do is they just go out and get cards. Get, they, they get cards, you know, like a, a card, get a credit limit. Uh, but it doesn't even matter. You don't really need to have a bunch of cards. But, you know, once you're on this, say if you have a bunch of stuff that you want to clear off your credit, make a bunch of complaints. Also go to Experian, Trans, Trans uh, Union, whatever, Trans Union and Equifax and make complaints there. But this one is the key one. And there's another one uh, as well. I just cannot remember. Start a new complaint. First name, last name, confirm, sign up. So, you know, you got to do this stuff. I'm not going to do it right now. And then and everything comes off. It comes off quick time, too. Look what they said. They said uh, most respond within 15 days. They're going to be shit and senseless. They're going to immediately. Uh, some people you got to wait for, you know, for big things. But, you know, you could do car loans. You could do anything. I don't know about mortgages. Uh, but anyway, so. I talked about the trade lines. I'm not going to go through anything else. Easy trade lines. I don't know. What is validation? See how we can help with cost validation. This is a skip trade service that scans and identifies the major characters associated with a CPN, SSN, or EIN personal file. Please do not use Yahoo email addresses. Our mail, our emails to them are getting blocked. This service costs $20 per number validated. Per number? Oh, per EIN number. EIN, CPN, SSN. Information. When your number has been established, how many files, names? Oh, this is what they provide. When your number has been established, how many files and names are associated with your number? To view the detailed report, we require a government-issued picture ID of the individual whose name is attached to the ID number. I'm not too crazy about that. I'm not about to give people because another thing is if you give these people your, you know, your 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 social and stuff, you know, that's the one thing. What I thought about it and I said, I'm not about to go over here because you're gonna have to enter in your uh, and if they run the site and they have their site, they have a database which stores everything. Even if they say we don't uh, we don't store your card, you they store your card. It's stored in the database files of WordPress. So I'm not about to give no ID. How to order. Use your Coast Wallet balance to fund your order. I mean, I might. I might. Maybe I'll make an ID. Uh, I don't know. All right. So let me see. That's about it. All right. I got stuff to do. So this is a good, important channel. I went through everything here. Consumer complaint. Anybody want to work together? Let's do it. You know, I need help right now. I would love to, if somebody wanted to put me down as an authorized user, I could share some information with you and then we could, uh, you know, we could um, be, it could be mutually beneficial. Let me know. Submit a complaint. That's about it for today. I'll get into it. I'm going to continue like making videos here and there whenever I can. It's like six, it was 6.30 in the morning when I started this. That was, who knows, a half hour we've been on. All right, I'm going to end this now. Uh, peace and blessings to all. Stop, share, end the video. Ciao.